Braden Rice from Red Deer versus Sean Newberry from Calgary. And here we go. Little bit of measuring, both guys trying to take the center here. Sean pushing forward slightly, Braden uh, deciding to, to be a little more, a little more bouncy, a little more rangy. There's that range. Oh, good left hook. Both guys landing slight inside low kicks. Still trying to find, uh, sort of find the range at either. Oh, big, big left hook there from Sean. Both guys looking for the range they're looking for. Their range. A little too tight on that low kick, but good follow up from Braden Rice. Good right round kick from Sean. Oh, good leg check there from Sean. I heard that thud sitting ringside. That was a good, good uh, shin on shin there. Both these guys coming with previous experience from other camps have found homes in uh, elite martial arts being Sean and Arashido Lumpayu from Brayden. Low kick game between these two for sure. Oh, good straight right from Sean. Getting Brayden up on the ropes there. You can tell these guys are still a little unsure about committing to one shot or, or you know, stepping in and really biting down. Still just trying to get some range. Good follow-up, good combo by Sean Newberry. Pretty popular combination there from Braden. Right cross, left hook as you skip to the left and uh, right low kick. Good, Sean Newberry doing a good job making a miss. Here we go, rest start of round two. Sean Newberry looking to kick right away. I know that was something he said in the last uh, the last fight that uh, he didn't kick enough. He would like to show, showcase a little more of his kicks. Oh, maybe a little low, but whoa, and return kick. Not bothered by Braden. Sean Newberry just obviously pushing forward a little bit. Oh, good right kick. But you know, as Braden's moving around, I think, oh, good right kick. I think Sean would do better off instead of following him. I think he should cut him off. Oh, another good leg check. That's going to help stop those low kicks. But even though Brayden is, is very, very tall and long, he, he's, he's still out of range to a little too far to have effectiveness on his kicks. Beautiful right kick. Sean Uber to the body. Oh, up top by Brayden Rice. Keeping range. That teak front kick to the thigh. Mm, both both fellows a little a little hesitant there to, to put the, the punches into range. A little unsure still. Jab for jab here. It feels like Sean Newberry is definitely trying to pull him into a punch exchange. And, and obviously having a tough time getting that range. Oh, good spinning back face by Braden. That landed. Not bothered by Newberry. Braden, very, uh, very good movement. He, as he moves, though, he does get a little long in his stance, and so it does open up for those low kicks from Sean. I'd like to see Braden uh, uh, to use that length, start faking jabs, fake teep, fake, fake the front kick. Oh, good, beautiful left. Oh boy, Sean's pouring it on. Beautiful body kick again. Oh, Sean is on him. Good way to finish round two for Sean. That's how you finish. Great match here, round three. Let's see who's gonna push ahead and take control of this fight here. Sean Newberry, the second Braden shows he's gonna kick. Sean's doing a great job of just sliding out of range, just like that, well done. Good jab by Sean. And you, you can tell Sean's just a little unsure of uh, Braden Rice's unorthodox style. Double jab right hand. That's the Newberry way, put those hands on him. Oh boy, another shin to shin. And <laughs> those are solid. 
Sean Newberry, a great job of just playing the game of inches, making him miss those kicks. Good low kick by Sean, good return by Braden. Braden's hands a little low. Good stiff jab. Braden's got to not be satisfied with one shot. He's got to be able, like that. He, you, you caught him, but you got to be able to stay there and throw another one, especially being the tall man. Whoa! Spinning now. <laughs> Impressive. The combos, the points are starting to add up from Sean from the combinations. Brady, Brady doing a, a little too much single hunting like that and then backing up. So now you're also giving away range in the clinch. I'm sorry, in the ring. You have to control the space, control the range. Low kick by Sean. Another block kick. You can hear the red corner, Kieran Kettle instructing Sean that he's getting tired and to kick his way into kick range. Braden's definitely footwork, uh, uh, not quite as sharp. Again, if Sean, if, if, oh, oh, right on the bell. It's like that's, a, that's some kind of trigger mechanism for Sean when he hears that tag. Oh, beautiful elbow by Braden. Oh, he's cut, he feels it. Oh boy, that was perfect, he feels that. Definitely a little hematoma under that eye, got the cut under control. Kieran Kettle's a pro, he knows how to do that kind of thing. Here we go, round four. I can guarantee that, that that cut, that solid shot there, probably uh, uh, raised the confidence of Braden. We'll see if he can capitalize on that. Big, heavy low kick there by Sean. He put that one in. Both chaps just making each other miss, just on the outside. I'd love to see, Braden has a great jab, but he needs to work off of it. Jab and, oh, big teeth to the grill. Why wouldn't you do that at six foot seven? Good combo there by Braden. Sean starting to have a little bit of tough time finding range. I don't know if he's bothered by his eye at all. But, but Braden is definitely taking a little bit of control, at least of this round. There was the fake front kick to punch, but, but again, and then you don't, don't give up the range. Don't give up the, the area. Don't give up the ring. I feel like Sean Newberry is starting to single hunt, maybe looking for that one bomb. Braden is starting to, there's that fake front kick. That's exactly what I was talking about, and I think he should really utilize because it worked right there. Uh, that feet underneath you there. Braden's trying to have a flurry, but a little off balance. Another front kick up high by Braden. And listen, that's a good tool. That's a good threat. He should do that lots. Fake front kick and step through. That's what I was talking about him to use. Sean Newberry, I, I don't know what he's waiting for. I don't know if he's, if that eye's really bothering him, but he needs to pick it up. This, this round has definitely uh, uh, gone the other way to, to Braden. Good round for Braden. Round five coming up. Braden, I'm sorry. Sean coming forward hard. Wants to make sure that. Oh, good step through. Oh, took his back. Good step through overhand right by Braden. That was great. Good sign of respect there. Both these men are gentlemen. That front kick by Braden, and it should be all over the place. He, he does have a great front kick. Now that he's found the range for it. Good hard low kick by Sean. Follow up. Again, you can see Sean's. Uh oh, uh oh, I saw a limp. I saw an absolute limp on that left leg of Braden Rice. And that is the first sign that, that your leg is damaged. Good front kick. Oh, there it is again. Listen, I'm telling you, I think that left leg is hurt. I don't know if Sean Newberry can recognize it. As they both feed each other a couple, couple jabs there. A little bit of clinch. Last time we were in the clinch here, we saw Sean eat an elbow. Good, good break. I think Sean might be onto it a little bit. 
I think I think both these guys should follow up on, on their jabs. Great jab, but let's see follow up. So you can see that right kick's not working because he's following Braden around the ring. No kick from Braden. Trade back from Sean. 20 seconds left in this fight. Oh, good body kick. Didn't have a lot of pepper on it though. These guys are a little tired. Sean pushing forward. Oh, 10 seconds. Are we gonna have a big finale? Oh man, look at this. What's wrong? I'm not really sure Brayton's strategy there. Oh my goodness, yeah, what an end to a fight. <laughs> Wow, what a way to start the Muay Thai World Cup. We have a winner. I really don't know. By a split decision. Oh boy. In the red corner. You're a winner by split Sean decision, Sean Newberry. Newberry.